Uh, you know, guys still, you know, something like that happens. Guys still processing it, but, you know, we're doing our best to move on to the Ravens and, you know, what we got to do this week coming up. How tough a challenge is that? You know, such a short time. Uh, super tough, you know, um, as a player, as a brotherhood of this league, you know, you never want to see one of your players go down that way. Um, our prayers and everything is just with DeMar and his family and just hoping and praying for just a speedy recovery and things, you know, just it's in God's hands now and we really just want to just keep our arms around him and the community and everybody. What's the temperament you have to play with to play defense in this league? Is that going to be hard going uh, forward? Uh, you know, this is, uh, unfortunately, people always use that cliche of this is the job we signed up for, and that's just the ugly part of it. Um, but, it, you know, you can't play the game but one speed. And I believe uh, he was out there playing at full speed, and it's just what happens sometimes. It's just such a freak accident. And, you, know, you can't take your foot off the gas as a defender. As an offensive player, anybody out there, if you're playing lightly, you're going to take your risk of really also getting hurt. So. Um, it's the only way to play this game. Uh, you got to play 100 miles an hour, and that's where you got to go about it. What was it like going through the motions of, of getting back in the locker room? That maybe kind of helped process things. What was that like being out there? Um, unfortunately, this job's like no other. Um, you don't get paid time leave. You don't get those type of things um, week to week to week. Um, players have to deal with things off the field, on the field, and they gotta, they're got they expected to go out there and perform. So as an athlete, in general, you have to have a certain ability to compartmentalize. And unfortunately, that's just the reality of our game. Um, but this is a tough situation. Uh, you, you, you know, you see something go on out there, and you think it's a regular injury, and you don't really know what's happening. Um, I want to thank our staff and their staff and everybody around for just responding in such a timely manner. Um, you know, that anywhere else in the world, you don't get that kind of help. So it meant a lot to just see everybody work together to come out with the best outcome that we could have came out in that situation. You said that you thought it was, you know, just like a regular injury. When did you realize that this was different? Um, you know, we're sitting on the sideline, and, you know, things happen kind of quick. But, you know, you, you see the ambulance come out, and you're just like, oh, man, maybe he's getting carted off. And then you see their players coming out of the circle crying. And um, you immediately start to realize it's something different. Um, as football players, we see injuries all the time. And uh, it happens all the time in this sport. But when you see your other players that you've played with, that you've grinded with, you know those guys across from you, um, you see them start to cry, and you, you, you don't understand what's going on. Then it's taking a little bit longer than normal. And um, that's when it really starts to sit in real that something's going on. Uh, me, and pray, me and Trey grabbed each other's hands, and we said a prayer. And then we went out there and uh, just joined the guys and offered them any, you know, any little bit of help we could, just being there with them and understanding how serious the situation was. For you personally, how do you compartmentalize and cope with a situation like this? And how have you tried to maybe help out your other teammates with the same? Uh, it's not necessarily about me, man. Um, just really just thinking about DeMar and his family and, you know, just praying and wishing them the best. Uh, it hadn't really, you know, it's been on my mental, but my mental can sit aside to just pray for that kid and hopes and prayers that he just gets better. Is there any apprehension? For you guys returning today where it's like you know you got to move on but how soon is it to be I guess not wallowing yeah it was was that difficult to figure out yeah it's super tough um, but like I said first time it's the job um, unfortunately it's the world we live in with this job and we're blessed to play this game so um, you know, just that's what you got to do. You got to go out there and you got to figure it out. And, you know, whatever comes next is what comes next. So you just got to try to figure it out and try to move on the best you can. Joe Burr said you guys kind of weren't really involved in conversations that mm -hmm. were going on this week. Really kind of what would you like to say, you know, as a player on the team about how the team is feeling and about what you'd like to see happen? Well, guys are just mourning around the league. One of our, you know, one of the guys in our brotherhood is down right now. And um, we just want to be around them and just, you know, give them all the support we can. There's nothing. The lead conversations, those type of things, I don't really get into. You know, I, um, it was said, it was handled, whatever was said and handled was what it was. But it's just more about the player and the person for me now, um, and his family, and just making sure that they're all good. Uh, as a team, as a locker room, I think that's what everybody thinks the same. You know, that's that's what's important right now. And um, you know, we got a game this week, and they got a game this week, and we're trying all our best just to wrap our head around that whole situation. When did it become clear to you, DJ, that you guys <coughs> could not go on Monday night? Uh, for me, I felt like it was as soon as it happened. Uh, 
something like that you don't see happen. Like, you know, we see injuries all the time. Something like that is not something you see on the football field. And then the pure emotions of everybody out there. I don't know how you ask guys to go back out and continue a football game after seeing something like that and going through those emotions. And then, you know, how do you feel about him, his family, just seeing him get carted off, going to the hospital, knowing what they got to do, and you just continue a game? I don't think that you can. Joe said he talked to you all after the game. Mm -hmm. He let you know that, that how he felt about you guys. Mm -hmm. what, what was that like? What did he tell you all? Had you ever seen him act like that? Yeah, it's just a surreal moment for everybody. I think all the leaders, and Joe especially, did a great job of you know, leading the charge for us going over there and talking to their captains and then just as a team coming up and just telling each other that we loved each other. You know, you don't, it's such a macho sport and things like that. You don't say it to your brother as often as you should, especially somebody who you grind with, you sweat with, you bleed with, you break bread with all the time. Something that should be said more because that's that that's what the respect we have for each other in this game is. Um, so it was good to have everybody else come up and just really just say we love each other, wrap our arms around each other, and just, you know, just all be there for each other. What was that like when the captains, you know, when the captains walked down there? What was that like, PJ? Why did you guys do that? What did you say to them? I uh, just told them that we were there for our support, for their support, man. Just uh, it's an emotional moment, especially in that locker room. That's somebody that they really care about. We all care about, but they got a real connection with them. Like I said, you bleed, sweat, break bread with that guy. It's somebody who you really, really in with every day. Uh, so it was just all for our support, man. Just knowing that we were praying for him, and you know, just to go down there, just be class, just be classy, and show them that you know we care on this side. It's not just one of those things where we walk up that field and we don't care. It's a brotherhood. We're all fortunate enough to play in this league, and we never want to see anybody go out that way. Do you think you should be playing Sunday? Do you want to play? Um, that's a tough question. Um, there's a lot of things, and you know, I don't really make those decisions, so I I can't really answer that question. I gotta go out there and play um, if that's what's called to do. But I can also see the other side of guys don't want to. I can I can definitely empathize with that and understand why that would be the case. Um, you know, I'm just not in the space to tell you what I want to do right now. Any other questions? Okay, thanks. Thanks, no problem.